Dave Accorda. Um, thanks very much for this opportunity. Uh, we are the L2L project team, and with me today is uh, Anne Cleary, Head of Library Services from Dundalk IT, uh, Philip Cohn, Head of Library Services from the DIT, and my name is Ronan Lynch. I am an engineering subject librarian with uh, the Institute of Technology in Carlo. So our uh, project is a collaboration uh, project, and uh, Grant. So um, I'm going to introduce the uh, presentation, and then Philip is going to take over, and then Anne, and so on. So um, uh, our, uh, in, I'm going to, uh, just in our overview, just uh, give a bit of uh, background information and the practical structures. We have our, uh, give you an update on our achievements and our challenges to date. There are some emerging teams, and uh, we will also look at what's happening next, how we are aligning with the, the framework, etc. And very uh, important to us is the student's perspective. So first of all, uh, who we are and uh, what we're doing. So we are uh, three in Institute of Technology libraries, and we're collaborating together. Uh, this is a photograph from the uh, first meeting we had. And it's an ex uh, it's an ex uh, you see the extended group. Not everyone is there. There's actually two members short. So we are just, uh, this is who we're representing. And uh, we are uh, not alone from three uh, institute libraries, but we're also from different sites within libraries. So we have been uh, unpicking, deconstructing, et cetera, the, the framework from day one. But when we go home uh, to our, our own libraries, we are continuing this conversation with our other library staff and colleagues throughout our community. So uh, the, we can already see how the uh, framework is uh, uh, rippling on. Anyway, why us? Um, we, uh, as li library staff, are hugely uh, passionate and committed to uh, putting the uh, learner uh, for, uh, in the centre of everything. And uh, we, uh, our library work over the last few decades has uh, become um, a complex thing, and our institutes have worked uh, independently, and we've, our roles have developed independently. So uh, uh, this framework is helping us to uh, kind of put structure to that and, and evolve in one direction. We realise, uh, of course, that there's great uh, uh, synergies between us and common interests, uh, even we are diverse. Um, but uh, this has also given us another opportunity that we hadn't done before, is work outside what are considered clusters. Um, so it's a, a great opportunity for us. Um, we say we're looking at the framework through the lens of library staff, this, and not specific to librarians, because librarians are a, a higher grade within the uh, library world. So um, we, we are taking into consideration all library staff. We consider all library staff to be involved in teaching, whether it is formal in front of your classroom or whether it's uh, the informal on the shelves or explaining something at the desk. Um, we're also looking at ways of uh, how this uh, um, project is going to motivate our colleagues and, uh, and sustainable uh, with our policies and procedures. As I say, we are different institutes and we're looking at uh, our common and uh, what's unique and, uh, and uh, going forward. Um, we've already seen the beginnings of, us, of uh, we have created within our own, the, our collaboration, a embryonic uh, uh, community of practice and um, our, uh, our vision. So we want to uh, uh, embed and champion uh, the, uh, professional development uh, framework uh, that addresses our complex and our differences. And, um, and, and for those who are working uh, in their uh, sort of isolation in their institutes. In, in, and, uh, so in the end, uh, better serve our students and our institutes. Quite simple, but that's our plan. Um, uh, we, our aim is to um, further the dialogue between LIS, Library and Information Studies, and Pedagogy. We have realized we've been in the rooms with uh, other teaching staff. And we're having the same, uh, they're having the same issues and difficulties, but we haven't been having the same conversations. But this project is putting us all together, which is really useful. We, like I say, we've explored, unpacked, unpicked ex everything uh, you could say about uh, teaching in libraries, and uh, with great enthusiasm. And uh, we hope to develop uh, strategies uh, to further uh, establish um, the, the role um, across Ireland. And um, the, we do see the framework as providing the foundation uh, to achieve this. Um, again, you can see, uh, uh, I'm going to hand over to Philip, but this is another uh, photo of uh, our steering group meeting. And uh, you can see how we're all thriving uh, on the project. <laughs> yeah. So I'll just hand over to Philip. 
thank you very much, Mira Mahagov. There you go. Okay, we are the excited librarians. Okay, very, 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 very quickly. Um, our, approach, um, our approach has been to uh, cultivate these project teams, or as we call them, triads, uh, at each site. Uh, these are uh, becoming peer support groups to promote the sustainable engagement with the project and with the framework. And we do intend to establish further triads involving um, further, further groups of librarians within our own institutions and other institutions. More happy pictures of happy librarians. Um, communications, okay. Communications plan has been developed and it continues to grow and evolve. Uh, we have weekly conference calls, the three uh, project leads in each of the sites. We have weekly conference calls and the project teams meeting face-to-face -face regularly at least once a month. Uh, and we also are using FreedCamp, which is project management software. Uh, we have engagement days arranged, one for 10 days' time and another in August at the end of the summer, and this will be for library staff across the higher education sector, and we are engaging with local HR, uh, training and development, and learning and teaching personnel in our own institutes and also uh, across with the steering committee. There we go. Mm. <laughs> we're there, we're there, we're there, we're there. <laughs> Communications. Uh, we have uh, leaflets, pull ups, banners, all sorts of things, social media, of course, and we've attended a number of events and we've sponsored uh, a prestigious event in the UK uh, for library staff who teach. Uh, training and development, we have a training and development plan. We've identified areas of need based on feedback and data from our, from our peer groups, from our triads, and we've organised lots of on-site training and we have more in the pipeline. Steering committee, we see the steering committee is a very important element of the project. It ensures a wider focus. It keeps the focus, that focus on professional development rather than going off on other strands. It's international in nature. We are looking for an independent chair. We'd welcome any suggestions from the room, please. And the steering group uh, currently includes training and development expertise, teaching and learning expertise, library staff, professional body representation, and of course, students. And there's another picture of the steering committee. Student voice, as Ronan has said, student voice is very important in everything we do. We contacted the academic unit, MLIS, bit of jargon, is the Masters in Library and Information Studies. It's what we call library schools. Um, there are two in Ireland, UCD and, and Dublin Business School. We contacted them, we've identified three student reps and they are sitting on our steering committee, very important members. We're also in the process of planning student focus groups in the coming academic year. Financials. Um, like the previous group, we, uh, we were probably slow getting started. Um, but budgets have been allocated, expenditure is ongoing. Uh, this is for, for some of us, this is our first project that we've been involved with and it's been a very steep learning curve in sorting out the finances with our own institutes. We are there now, we've got there and as we gain momentum we do, uh, expenditure will increase and we feel that we are on track. Very important, what have we done, where are we, the achievements. Um, we've achieved a lot in a very short time. We're learning as we go and we've identified multiple tracks to the, to the project. We are enthusiastic and committed. We're the enthusiastic librarians. We are touching on emerging themes and concerns in the wider library world. And we have already generated substantial interest from third party libraries and organisations. Achievements to date, very packed slide you'll see there. I don't go intend going through it and more achievements there. Again, I don't intend going through the detail. Finally, this is, how we, uh, this is how we've helped to spread the message and to get the word out about the project. And I'll hand over to Anne. I too am digitally challenged. <laughs> <laughs> that one. <laughs> 
So um, we have a lot of slides and I'm kind of concerned about time, so I'm basically going to just talk to you and you, I'm sure you're going to ask me loads of questions anyway. So obviously when you do a project like this, there are lots of things. Isn't it Donald Rumsfeld, Rumsfeld who had the unknown unknowns and the known unknowns? So to think about the and things we anticipated that actually would take time to get ourselves off the ground, um, some level of apathy and, and you know, basic you know, reluctance to actually get engaged with things, uh, that it takes time to actually build consensus and to actually really understand what a project or really what the framework is about. Uh, and all of those things like time, uh, getting, getting people bought out. Um, and actually we also realise that we have a real tendency to get focused on information literacy as opposed to professional development. The unanticipated things that have come up is, I think, the levels of complexity around some of that. So that includes just the fact that what works in one of our sites doesn't necessarily work in another in terms of dealing with administration, the multiple forms, the procedures, inter um, internal industrial relations issues, what are the cultures and so on. Um, I think there are issues which I'm going to touch on again around organisational and institutional approaches around professional development itself. Um, a real struggle around actually acceptance and identity and a particular struggle for our teams uh, and for our staff around the use of the word teaching, which is kind of something we hadn't quite actually anticipated in the same way. Um, one of the other things that happened and one of the reasons why more people aren't here today is that while we were expecting a new library system upgrade, we weren't expecting a completely new library system, so that actually added a whole level of work that we hadn't actually planned. So just to come up on what we see as emerging. So first of all, in relation to professional development, um, I would say that we think there's a level of shyness around talking about our professional development. People are really happy to talk about work, but actually saying, OK, this is my professional development, here's the time for me to talk about it, actually is something new for us to do. Um, obvi obviously, we all work in institutions that are committed to the development of people and so on. But many of the approaches that we see are perhaps maybe more mechanical models than the holistic, ongoing and, I would say, more sustainable approach that's suggested by the framework. Um, some of the language doesn't resonate, and I'll come back to talking about that word teaching in a second. It's also the case that the process for us, as Philip has said, actually is really encouraging. The people that we are engaging with in our teams are really enthusiastic about it. We can see lots of things happening, and it's giving us real opportunities to position the libraries and to actually remind ourselves that we are part of the teaching function, and that is why we are here, and that is why we got the funding, and it really gives us a lot more confidence to kind of step into that space. It's also the case that learning and doing new things is challenging. So people have a level of anxiety, I would say, when we start to look at the framework first. It's almost like, oh, a little bit of deep breath. Are we going to do this? How are we going to do it? Uh, some of the terminology, we think, just doesn't really resonate that well. As librarians, reflection is not actually inherent to our practice. It isn't mentioned in the other library-related professional development frameworks. So all of this is, therefore, quite new for us. However, we are going on, and again, this is a photograph from one of our project team uh, meetings. Uh, I'm just going to turn now to the student perspective. So first of all, it's obviously early days for this. Uh, we had hoped to have focus groups, but we then had to get ethical approval, and that took more time. And then by the time that was ready, our students had exams, so we also decided to wait until the new year. Um, but we actually have, as Philip has mentioned, three students on our uh, steering group, and we asked them to actually start capturing for us what they saw as the impact of the project, which I think we've documented in the report we sent in, but also, as you can see, on the slides that are here. So we're really hopeful that they will bring um, a different perspective and remind us of what it is that we're doing and actually come back to actually help us also to influence the new generation of librarians that are coming through about perceptions around their role and the formation of library practice. And this slide is really about alignment and obviously professional development is part of all of our institutional plans. Um, we really see that this is an opportunity for L to L to influence professional development of libraries in terms of their strategic positioning um, in the institution and in terms of building up also our departmental strategies. And obviously we're part of many projects that are going on and the kind of issues we're finding are also, we suspect, in the other projects. Uh, within a disciplinary context, when we look at the professional development framework, We've been trying to, I suppose, compare and contrast it in, initial, in a very in initial and at one level uh, superficial way as yet with other disciplinary or with other professional development frameworks 
for librarians. So, for example, it's interesting for us to know that in the UK, when you contact the Higher Education Academy, they have about 400 librarians uh, who are also fellows. Um, it's also the case that we've discovered that the Higher Education Academy and the professional body have started, but we haven't been able to actually clarify the extent of where uh, negotiation has gone in terms of kind of mutual recognition of the awards process for people who are members of the professional association and therefore also the Higher Education Academy uh, award process. Um, in Ireland we're looking also with what we call the framework from, from the Library Association and, and SILIP uh, and again we've also been looking at the ACRL which is the um, Association of College and Research Libraries and what we would say in general is many of these are under review and that there is a trend towards broad or wider conceptual issues and that reflection is an emerging topic and we therefore think this really helps us in relation to L2L. -L. We'll obviously come back to this, you know, we see that the issues going forward is engaging more people, actually getting people to, I suppose, use the framework evidence and see how it actually works in a real life context, uh, but also to look at the sustainability issues because we think what we're really talking about is laying the foundations because it is a two year project and for us that seems to operate at the following levels. First of all, there's something about you know, culture of scholarship for us and confidence for us to actually step into that space as librarians. There are issues around local institutional and sectoral policy around development and professional development for people, adding the library perspective to additional uh, offerings, development of communities of practice and reward recognition and voice. And that might be, for example, looking at digital badges, which we've started to do, or else looking at mutual re accreditation and recognition from the forum and from the LAI. And that's us. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>